Welcome back to the college everybody. Just going to give you a quick walkthrough of how entry and the one-way system etc looks within the college. So as you can see when you come into the car park, straight away we've got the banner up telling you exactly what entrance to use. So we'll walk along up the main walkway. And as you can see, we've got the proper queuing system in place. It's very strict, so when you turn up to the college, it is very important that you follow this queuing system in. Now, for those that have got wheelchair accessible, we've got still the ramp here, so please make your way up the ramp and you can see the channel just down the side of the gated system. Make your way down there and there's a press button which is clearly marked on the right hand side. So just go in through there and then you'll follow the procedures as normal. As you can see on the floor, we've got the markings. It's very important that you maintain your social distancing throughout. We're remaining with the two metre markings, so please make sure you do. Now, it is important that when you see the two metre markings, that we're all policing that. So make sure you've got your space and make sure you're giving others the, the, the space as well. We need to have that line of respect in there. That is the only way that we're going to be able to work properly. So I mentioned about the wheelchair access, as I said, there's a press pad there and when you press that pad, that'll open the door there and you'll go straight in through. So it's very much just like this. And then make your way through. Now when you get to this point, we'll have two doors. We've got to make sure we're maintaining social distance, so please don't move forward until the people in front of you have gone forward. When you enter, we've got the hand sanitising system. These are automatic, so place your hand under. Give your hand a good sanitise, and then make your way through. You'll come in, and you'll be guided into the hatch where you'll meet the thermal imaging camera. So when you're doing that, that is just a thermal imaging check, just to make sure you've not got a high temperature. If you do have any abnormal temperature, you'll be asked to step to the side, and a member of staff will come and speak to you and give you some proper guidance from there. So now we move into the main college, and as you can see, we've got our one-way systems in place. We're trying to encourage people, because this is our busiest area, so we will encourage people to use both sides of the corridor and maintain the two metre distance at all times. Now this is where we get to what we say is the business end of the college. As you can see, we've got clear signage, so it's downstairs to level zero, and upstairs gets us access to the level one classrooms and offices, and the level two classrooms and offices. We'll make our way upstairs into level two, and we'll walk through the one-way system there. Now it's important to note that this stairwell is a one-way stairwell. You can only go up here. The signage is clear and we've got no egg entry on the top as well. So now we're at the top and as you can see, if we go to our left hand side there, it gives us access to level two classrooms and offices. So our offices across there are the likes of our finance and funded, our quality, HR, our digital services, external development and our executive management team. We're going to head across to level two, which is the classrooms, creative industry, business and computing, and also gives us access to the level one classrooms as well. Now, as you can see, we've still got our drinking water machines available. What we would ask is that you bring your own cup and use your own cup. Don't be tempted to drink directly out of the outlet. We've got the exit doors here. Now, these are only for getting access to the cost area. You won't get access to any other classrooms from this area. Don't use them unless you're going downstairs to Costa, but they can be used in the event, event of an emergency. Our fire procedures remain the same. These are all openly available and they'll be on your welcoming information to the college as well. Now we get to our first stairwell, which is Stair F. 
For those of you that have got classrooms on level one, this will be where you go through for hair and beauty and supported programs. So you'll follow through this door here and go down one level and come out into where your classroom area is. It's important to note as we're walking along, for those of you in classrooms on level two that is before stair F, you will go down stair F and follow the level one route back out to the main entrance. Very much the same as you will from this side down to the next stairwell. So for those that are on this half, we'll come down stair E. To come down this stairwell, we're going into the staff workroom, Prince's Trust and the health and social care classrooms. Now again, as you can see, we've got signage on the door there. That door is only for entry into this corridor. If you're exiting, it will only be for emergency purposes. So again, we're back onto the one-way system, gaining access into the staff workrooms and the teaching rooms as normal. Now, when you're coming out of these classrooms and teaching rooms, follow the one-way system right back along here. It's worth noting, it's very important that when you're working through the corridors, make sure you're maintaining your social distance at all times. If you see anybody abusing the one-way systems or anybody working too close, highlight it, talk to them, tell them, speak to a lecturer or speak to a member of staff. We're now coming out into the area where we've got the hair and beauty area, but we've also got Costa. And as you can see, we've chained this area off to make sure that we've got a proper queuing system. So there is absolutely no entry into Costa through this area here. You need to continue through the one-way system. And if you're going into Costa, we turn left. And as you can see, there's a queuing system within Costa itself. Now, before you go into Costa, make sure you use the hand sanitizer as a standard practice across the building. For those that are exiting, we'll walk through and continue through the exit. And as you can see, we've got our digital signage in place to make sure you know exactly where you're going. So if that's you now complete from this area, you'll exit to the right hand side there and through the sports hall doors at the far end, which takes you right back outside. So here we are, we're back at the start of the main business end of the college. So we're now going to go down to level zero and show you the way around there. So you may see a little bit of difference here. To help get traffic up and down, we've turned this into a two-way corridor. It is important that you stick to the direction of travel here, so stick to the left-hand side here, okay? And as we pass the exit from the canteen area, we're back into our proper one-way system. So we get to this point, and this shows you the entrance into the canteen, again with hand sanitizer. And again, as you can see, we've got no exit signs to make sure it's a complete one way. I will come back to the canteen side later on, but we'll continue through to construction and engineering departments. So we've got two options when we come in here. We can turn up to the left to go up to motor vehicle, gas assessment and engineering, which is fabrication and welding and plumbing. Or if we turn right, we've got the electrical workshops, we've got joinery, construction. We're going to go down through the construction corridor and just show you. Again, we've got a two-way system in operation down here, making sure that you stick to the side of the corridor and make sure you give everybody the two metres social distancing space as we go along. It's very important in the corridors when you're walking through that we don't loiter in the corridors at all. Make sure that if you're having a chat with somebody, you're doing it in plenty of space. So for those of you that are learning on level zero and you're down in the joinery, electrical workshops, when you're going back out of the college, you need to follow back up this way and continue along the one-way system to the far end. At this point here, for those that have been along at the far end workshops, if you come in through here and follow the one-way system, it takes you into the toilets, but it also takes you into the canteen from here. To gain entrance back up into the main college thoroughfares, we're going to head up through stair B. Now obviously we've got the lifts available, and those are available for those with mobility issues only. The numbers to comply with social distancing are limited to two persons. 
And the two persons that will be in will be someone with mobility issues or someone in a wheelchair plus a carer if they require it. So we don't expect to see groups of people going into the lifts at any one time. Stick to the corridors please and leave the mobility, the lifts for those that require them. Again, this stairwell is a one-way system, so we just follow the arrows up to the landing point. And as you can see, this brings us out into the main college entrance. Now, one of the things that we've mentioned a few times here is those with mobility issues and those within wheelchairs. Now, we appreciate the circumstances and we expect that you will be able to come by and maybe look at the one-way system and come round other ways. We'll work with you. We've got our student support guys there as well. So when you do your needs assessment before you come in, we'll work here. We'll make that as part of your PEEP, which is your personal emergency evacuation plan. So you will have paperwork that we will fill in to make sure that people know that you're able to use and go against the one-way system as and when required. And again, for those of you that have come back round, back out to the exit, I'm going to show you along into the canteen areas now. So we'll start off on this level by heading down to Costa. So if we stick down here onto the two-way system and just continue to keep left, we'll head down to Costa. Straight in through the one-way system, using the hand sanitizer as we go in. As you can see, these are two meter spaces, so please make sure you form an orderly queue whilst we're in. Approach, the serve, approach this point here at the serving hatch, place your order, walk across, pay, receive your goods, and then we walk out through the one-way system, which is clearly signed. Now for our canteen areas, social distance eating space will be available. As you can see, we've got the outside area, which has got furniture, place that social distance on it, and the canteens and costa areas themselves will be exactly the same. So when you're finished, Again, hand sanitizer and head down the stairs through the exit only area. And we'll follow the one way system right back around onto the main thoroughfare. So this takes us back onto the main stairwell and we'll now go down and walk through the canteen area and show you how the canteen area works. So again, we come in through the one way system making sure we use our hand sanitizer as we go through. We've got directional floor signage. When you're coming to the hot food desk, stick into the left, make sure you keep your two meters apart. When it's time to come and be served, make sure you're standing on the markers on this side for the hot meals or on this side for your snack food. Once you're done, make your way to the tills Ideally, paying by card at this minute in time, we're trying to minimise the cash. We've got the card facilities here, so we'd ask you to be paying by card. Once you've paid, you can either come in and take your seat, or if you're moving away, again, just walk through the one-way system to head back up into the main college. So that concludes the tour of the college. What we'll do is we'll just show you how to exit the whole college and make your way down to the bus stop in the car parks. On your way out, we've still got a hand sanitizer station, so please give your hands a quick sanitizer before you head out. Now, as we make our way back outside into the exit, it's very important to note this is still a no smoking area. So there's strictly no smoking when you come out inside this area. That means inside where the bike bins. These are people's bike lockers and we've got the bike storage area there. It's very important to respect the people that use this area. Don't hang about in there and smoke. These areas will be patrolled. And again, we'll be making sure that nobody stops in here. As you can see, we've got the signage up. We expect people to adhere to the signage. We've got very clear signage that tells us we exit down the main ramp to the right hand side, back down to the main car park. Now just coming out on a smoke break, it is important to note that you would continue down the path and follow around and you'll see the smoking shelters are over just at the side of the car park in between the college and the Crichton Road. 
Now at the end of the day, make sure you're making your way either up to the left to your car or across to the right to get to the buses. Please keep the pathways clear. Make sure people have a very clear walkway through. Come down here and turn to the right. Make sure you're queuing up for your buses, which will be waiting there. Or if you're coming out to your car, make your way up to the left-hand side. Please ensure when you're going to your car, stick to the designated walkways and have a safe journey home. Thank you everybody for paying attention to this video. Look forward to seeing you soon.